Uh-oh, Bitcoin may be in trouble. So she is facing some major competition in the market. And there is a well-known cryptocurrency that retail traders are very, very interested in investing in. Can you guys guess which cryptocurrency this is? Stay tuned to hear why I think that this cryptocurrency could outperform Bitcoin and why 80% of retail traders are extremely interested in it. Welcome back to The O Show, everything crypto every day. If you like my content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and set alerts as I post daily crypto YouTube videos giving you the top news and a breakdown as what is happening with Bitcoin price action, as well as some really great altcoins as well. Let's get into it. The answer to the question of what asset is in direct competition with Bitcoin is Cardano with a cash tag of ADA. Decrypt reported that US retail investors are more bullish on Cardano than Bitcoin, a survey studies. So on this particular survey, Voyager Digital went ahead and reached out to different cryptocurrency traders, retail traders, and 80% of them, eight out of 10, said that they would prefer to put their money into Cardano over Bitcoin. And this makes sense to me, and I actually tend to agree with them. Why is this happening? Well, Cardano has a very, very big community that is very heavily invested in the project and support the project and Charles. It is also a threat to Ethereum. As you know, Ethereum gas fees are high, the network gets clogged up. So Cardano is almost a direct competitor with them. However, as far as working products go, we are still eagerly waiting to see what will be put on the market. And of course, most importantly, the marketing. Cardano has an amazing marketing department. Whoever is leading their marketing is doing a great job. Let's go ahead and head over to CoinGecko and look at some stats here. Taking a look at CoinGecko, we see that Cardano is in the fifth spot with a current price of $1.17. And don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and chart this for you because I do think Cardano will continue to perform well in 2021. Overall though, Cardano has been fighting and has been climbing up and down on CoinGecko. What number do you think Cardano will end up by the end of 2021? Well, she has some strong competition between Polkadot BNB and Ethereum. So it's gonna be interesting to see if she can actually flip and sustain some of these other cryptocurrency projects, especially since Ethereum has some updates coming up. Will she be able to overthrow Bitcoin as far as total market cap goes? Well, if you look at the difference here, we're at about $37 billion, while Bitcoin is at $1 trillion. So price would really need to go up in order to do so. Either way, I think Cardano is gonna make some great gains this year. Let's talk about it. This is the Cardano weekly chart. And right now she's looking like she might pull back just a bit. However, this is the weekly chart and it does take a while to play out. And as far as the Cardano USD pair, she has actually broken all time high. The last time that this particular chart hit all time high was January 1st of 2018. All time high was about $1.33. But this year in 2021, we hit an all time high of about $1.48. Now, taking a look at the daily chart, some of you may be thinking, I didn't get in on time, what am I gonna do? Well, I've got some hope for you. It looks like she is correcting just a tad. We see a bear cross presented on MACD and price is currently bouncing pretty well on the EMA 21. If we get a further pullback, I really like this area between the EMA 30 at about $1 and one penny down over here to about 86 cents, which is gonna be the EMA 50, and a very, very swing low to 64 cents. I doubt that the 64 cent um, correction will come into play, but it is an important area to note, just in case. And I always advise people, if there's a project you're interested in, set limit orders, because you never know. You might get a wick that pops down, who knows? Either way though, if we do lose support of the EMA 21 at about $1.09, I would expect for a corruption to about $1.01 to 86 cents. 
However, if Bitcoin stays bullish, we may not get that correction. And as far as targets for 2021, I think our next target, once we're able to successfully sustain $1.48, is going to be between this range at 168 to 188. And then I do think we will see an all time high of about $2.93. You can find these targets by pulling fibs up from the top to the bottom and see exactly where I'm getting my information from. Let's talk a little bit about a brand new project called VersoView. It's an engagement and rewards platform hosting branded DeFi ecosystem. So this project is going to be focusing on working with brands, businesses, educational partners, and publishers so that they can host and engage their community around their content and essentially re rewarding community members with branded social tokens within the the VersaView ecosystem. This is actually pretty, pretty cool because when we're talking about mainstream brands, everybody's got a cult following and everybody wants to support their favorite brand. Some additional information about VersoView. They've actually announced that they've released their platform alpha ahead of schedule. Anytime a team goes on to do something ahead of schedule, especially in crypto, that gives me a little nudge on the shoulder to pay attention to the project because we all know there's a lot of procrastinators in the space. So this is going to be for the VersoView rewards platform, and it's going to feature an airline, Guarda, which is estimated to service more than 2 million passengers world wide. In this article here, it states that passengers are going to have access to e-colors via the VersoView app on Android in the Google Play Store, as well as in-flight via Guarda Indonesia's entertainment offerings. OpenView will be available in the alpha release, and it's going to deliver a pretty cool revolutionary reader experience for passengers. They are also partnered with one of my favorite projects, Ferrum. And then Eureka, Eureka, I hope it's pronounced that way, the partnership will be for minting NFTs for Guarda, which I think is pretty cool. And they're going to be custom NFTs. They're also partnered with Morpheus network. And as far as the token goes, it's hashtag VVT. It's a multi-functional deflationary currency that fuels the ecosystem. It's going to act as a staking mechanism for minting social tokens used within communities built around publications, corporate reports, educational material, brands, or product stories. And as everything is starting to be more and more online and digital and virtual, I think that this is actually a pretty interesting idea. And I'm actually interested in seeing how big corporations are going to take advantage of this. This is a cute little story I wanted to touch on because I have a love and hate relationship with Dogecoin as of recent, as most of you know. I think that it is absolutely great that this project is pumping. The only thing that concerns me is I don't want anybody to get caught holding the bag, especially my supporters. But anyways, let's talk about this article from Coindesk about Dogecoin. So apparently there is a brand new DEX for Dogecoin swaps. The new Doge DEX, which was produced from Komodo, will allow fans to make peer-to-peer -peer exchanges of the cryptocurrency. So this is going to be a DEX an absolute dex for dogecoin which i think is pretty 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 cool so wednesday well actually according to the article wednesday open source cryptocurrency and blockchain solutions provider komodo said its doge dex went live on march 1st so it's been around for about two weeks it has already seen over 3,000 downloads the service is powered by the atomic dex engine which is a komodo product and i've talked to the team about it before a very very cool thing um, but it's available through desktop and mobile apps i personally don't like using dexes on my mobile phone but to each their own. And there's going to be a fiat on ramp coming next month. So for all of you who are interested in Dogecoin, I think that this is cool. Just be very careful. Make sure to take your profit. I still have a moon bag of Doge, which I absolutely love. But I think that this is kind of cool that they're doing it considering Dogecoin has got some major hype from celebrities like Elon Musk, Snoop Dogg, and Gene Simmons. And we also saw um, NBA Dallas Mavericks team accepting Dogecoin as well. Let's check price. Well, folks, this is the daily Dogecoin chart, and it's looking like our cute little doggy is in a little bit of trouble. Market Cipher just printed a red dot, and the RSI and the MFI are also pretty bearish, not looking too terribly good. However, if you're a Dogecoin supporter, this is an opportunity for you to potentially invest if it suits your risk, as it looks like she's heading back down to this area of support at about 93 Satoshis. And if she kisses this area of 93 Satoshis, Satoshis, she has the opportunity to get down to about 85 Satoshis. Again, this is a Dogecoin 
BTC pair. So we're talking in Satoshis and not in USD. So the all time high that she had was about 232 sats, which is fantastic. However, let's zoom in and take a look at the four hour chart. Four hour chart looks like it's forming a descending wedge. If you draw the lines, you can see. So it looks like she will probably bottom out in this range between about 93 and 85 Satoshis. If she does continue to fall, I would probably call for the bottom here to be at about 66 sats. Um, but also you guys, we talked about Dogecoin being cyclical and right now it looks like she's in this nice consolidation range. Generally what's hap what happens with Dogecoin, if you look all the way back at previous price history, when she gets in these, she go will go in these really, really long consolidation ranges and then she will pump. However, I still would be advised that even though she pumped, she may get back down to this area of consolidation between 41 and 30 sats. I'm not saying that this is going to happen. I'm just saying to be prepared for if it does happen. And this is why I advocate for you to take your initial investment out and to take your profit. So there is a new project I want to talk to you guys about. It is known as Genie, and they successfully launched their main net today. And it is also including their revolutionary swap gate. And what this project does is it brings machine learning to businesses of all sides. And it actually began with a patent pending to advance machine learning systems. And it, this system that they have in particular is consistently self-improving and training itself. So as time goes on, it becomes harder to keep up with, which sounds a little bit scary. So it works with data preparation to secure processing and is now a decentralized blockchain environment, which to collaborate and monetize results. Here is the patent pending here, which I think is actually really cool. Another important thing to note with Genie, on March the 8th, Monday, the token was listed on PancakeSwap. And if you guys don't know what PancakeSwap is, it is a BSC decks. And the team did this because they want to provide a viable option to all of their community members because ETH fees are super expensive. It is also listed on Uniswap and you guys can still actually use MetaMask to go ahead and trade on PancakeSwap. You just need to switch your network. And if you sign up to my free newsletter, Wendy's White Paper, I have directions on how to do that. It is pretty, pretty simple, but it can be a little bit scary, but I have you covered with this step-by-step -step guide. So the Genie mainnet is the first blockchain with on-chain machine learning functionality. Users can go ahead and access powerful on-demand machine learning directly through the GNI, Genie web wallet. Lastly, swapping of the tokens is actually pretty easy. And once you get your token swap, you have full access to forging delegates, voting, receive voting rewards, access in wallet machine learning, and you can essentially launch your own token. Lastly, with their data place. So once the mainnet is completely launched and done, um, they have cross chain and side chain capabilities that will come into play. And this will be, uh, this will occur with the much anticipated Genie data place. And the data place will become the go-to destination for many companies that want to trade and monetize their data assets for data engineers that want to go ahead and monetize predictions with validated data sets. Before we get going, let's talk about Bitcoin very, very briefly. So we had our bullish scenario play out as we sustained support for about $54,000. And we hit our target area that I had talked about, $56,000, $56,000. And she is up. However, this is the four hour chart. But on the 45 minute chart, I'm starting to see a little bit of weakness. Ultimately, I would love to get a pullback down to this area at 54.8, then down over here to $54,000 and long to financial freedom to $58,565. But it looks like Bitcoin is on the move again. So as far as today goes, it looks like we have a very, very strong chance of hitting all time high at about $58,500. Well, closer to 58.6. If this does happen, Happen, you guys, things are going to get extremely hectic. And I do believe that we probably will see about $64,000 pretty quickly right after this area of resistance is broken. However, be advised, once we get to all time highs and we go in price discovery, there could be volatility. We can experience a pretty volatile pullback. However, when Bitcoin is on her run, she is on her run. And right now my key area of support is about $52,400. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.